Welcome Rapid Weaver users. Um, I will explain you in this tutorial how you can integrate your own free webmailer into Rapid Weaver. We will use Webmailer instead of the standard Rapid Weaver contact form. And why use Webmailer? Well, it's free and it can send an auto response mes message and it will run on your own server. And you will not have the Rapid Weaver contact PHP form. On the right side, you will see that I have downloaded the Webmailer in the English language and I've extracted it on my desktop, um, which you can see here. And um, we're going to open this folder and take a look inside uh, what's uh, inside it. Four files. Okay. Let's take a look at the README. That's a file you need to read. It's uh, important, so I suggest read it. The template you can delete. We're going to make one in Rapid Weaver, so you can delete this template. Then the sample form is uh, handy. We're going to use this sample form, um, some code, and put it in Rapid Weaver. I will show you how to do that. A webmailer is the program, and here we're going to need to edit some lines. Also not too difficult. And um, Well, let's start open it. This is webmailer.cgi. And the first thing you need to know is the path to Perl. Normally this is okay. If not, change it and read the README. Everything is embedded in the script, and here you change your uh, your uh, domain name and here your email address. So because everything is embedded, it's not too difficult. This is the full path to your contact page, and in my case, it is code slash index.html, but I will explain you later why it is like that. A little bit lower you will see auto response yes, standard is no, so I've put it on yes and um, that will mean that it will send, webmailer will send a uh, message to, uh, to someone who has filled it in. Change also the email address and then thank you is the subject, so this, you may change that and um, the auto message is where I've put start here your text with your text well this you can uh, edit and uh, put your own text there a little bit lower this day is free if you don't want that delete it you can delete it easily no problem and template.html this is uh, where webmailer.cgi will be looking for so we're gonna make this one in, uh, in uh, Rapid Weaver this is my email address, change it to your email address and now stop editing here, it is uh, finished. So a couple of lines, not too difficult and uh, let's uh, take a look now in uh, Rapid Weaver. In Rapid Weaver I've set up a quite simple website, like I always do with example videos. Sam uh, a sample page, a home page, and uh, you see it, and, and, and the contact us, which is not uh, finished yet. I'm gonna show you why and how, and a template. This is uh, also, uh, I've also made this, and, and let's start with the contact us. It's, it, of course, it can be also a contact me. Now, go to add a new. Um, add page and then insert an HTML code. I won't do that now, I've done that. So it's this page and uh, what we're gonna do is edit it. So click on the edit and now we have to open the sample form and the first line you need to change is the, which is selected and put your URL at that spot. So that is the correct URL to your CGI directory and webmailer. Now you can make a field required quite easy. Just uh, put your cursor here and put required. And um, where it says website, put an uh, asterisk or a little star. It's called also a star, an asterisk. 
and you're done. Now it's required and now it's not. So it's very easy to make a field required. Now we copy the form where it ends and where it starts. Right mouse click and then copy with your left mouse click. Go back to Rapid Weaver. In the contact us page put it on the right spot like I do now here on this page and now paste it and you're done. So now the form is insi inside a Rapid Weaver contact us form. And as you can see, it's uh, quite nice. And I don't use a reset button. People can easily make a mistake uh, and clear a form. The reset button is uh, what I s stated there. It's hardly used and nowadays quite old fashioned. So I recommend not to use it. Now we have our contact form with fields. You know how to make more or less fields. Now. Uh, the template is also add a page and an HTML code. I won't do that now because it has been done. So it's the template on the left side. You will see it there. Edit it. So like click on edit. And I'll put in main space content with the brackets. Um, and I will zoom in and now you will see it. This is quite simple. So only put that. No further code needed. <clears throat> Sorry, on the right side, be sure that at the template, the show in menu is unchecked, so do not check that. Page title is not important at this uh, point. Yes, I have put it in a folder code, but you can also put it directly in, um, in the root. So, and call it template.html. Uh, I will click on some buttons here so you need uh, you see what's uh, on my side how I have done it showing menu not enabled and call it template.html that's important contact us page um, it's a little bit different um, because you want that it is a link and you uh, click on the show in menu so you want that it is on in your menu as a link so that people people can click on it I also put it in a folder code. Well, Rapid Weaver did that, and uh, but better is maybe not to do that. Um, here is some what I've done. I've I've done nothing specially here, so it's only to show you how my layout is. Show a menu enabled, and with the template.html file, which is lower there. Um, don't do that there. Then uh, we have here. You see the links, and there uh, is the template. Also have links. Now I've opened up my FTP client, and um, it has been pu published. So uh, everything is uh, there. Well, the, the in in the code there is now my my template, and in the styled that is in fact the sample page so that's why it has it has been in folders now now you need to drag template.html to your desktop just drag it because it's not on the right spot there put it on your desktop and release the button and then you can delete this uh, file because we you have it on your desktop we don't need it anymore yes delete okay that's fine so it has been deleted and it is on your desktop now we need to edit this file so open up the template.html file I uh, open it now and you can see template.html this is the title make something nice here and uh, on every link you will see uh, that Rapid Weaver has put uh, two dots and a slash now you can leave it that way it will work or you can put your full URL so HTTP and then uh, your domain name and then slash that's all so on every link um, you can put your URL or leave it like it is it it works like this so it's quite easy you see that it is code and then index that is in fact uh, the contact us page. This is quite strange uh, 
but not necessary in this case. Main content uh, is, is very nice. Uh, Rapid Weaver did a good job and put it on the right uh, spot. So this is in fact the layout for the CGI form. So it can find your layout and your CSS files. Now go to your CGI directory like I do now here and uh, also open up webmailer if you did not now upload webmailer to your, uh, to your CGI directory I won't do that because I've done that so I will uh, stop this and um, it's already on my CGI directory now drag the template.html file in your C CGI directory this is a template which you have saved and you're done so I, I don't do it because it's already uh, I've already done it let's take a look now and um, this is temporary uh, URL mailer.datalogica.nl as you can see I have a home a sample page and the contact us page it looks uh, quite good and it's exactly as uh, we've made it website is not required and comments is not required um, when I click on submit now you will see that the layout is perfect and that everything matches so um, there's a home page a sample page and a contact us page to go back so great it's working perfectly let's try the home page fantastic this is another rapid weaver website also demo and here i've put a, a, a captcha anti-verification code this is not free it costs you 19 dollars but then you have an extra security with captcha and i've chosen here with, with uh, six digits this is also all what you can change in this kind of uh, webmailer it's also webmailer but an extension with capture and you saw them when i reload it it changes it this is a sandfox side and also with a contact uh, page i show you this because you can see the difference in in in, uh, in numbers in this case I've, this is random so when i reload it was four and now it will save uh, six uh, digits so um, it will also always change and when I send it will say no valid and spend code so yeah that makes uh, sense now this is also as I told $19 let's go to our, the main website of Data Logica and go to free CGI scripts then to CGI webmailer you can read there about webmailer and uh, that it is free and the version which we have used in rapid weaver so without the capture but you have a very nice form which you can implement and has an auto response let's take a look now at my uh, contact page um, that we use it also uh, on my own side and I zoom in a little and here instead of uh, digits i've put text so two eight uh, like that zero eight zero three well when i click on submit it will also say no valid anti-spam code so it's incorrect and let's try and uh, i reload the page and um, one a three a four and i need another three and <clears throat> sorry submit you see it uh, has verified it's gone so now I did not fill in name so yeah I need to fill in every, every field what is required um, this is an example too it's also webmailer uh, click on my home page I hope uh, that uh, you understood the things I have uh, explained and leave feedback of, uh, about my videos this is the page we have uh, working for on and uh, maybe till next time and for now bye bye hope you enjoyed it